recuerda que en Rusia Chernobyl. You remember Chernobyl, the atomic explosion? That was a sudden catastrophe. Well, this is a long-term catastrophe. It's happened little by little, but it's a catastrophe nonetheless. They did a study here of blood levels. De análisis de sangre y de pelos. Se determinó que gran porcentaje de la large percentage of the population is contaminated, a percentage that exceeds the limits considered acceptable by the international community. que todos los organismos internacionales lo dicen. ¿Cuáles son las consecuencias? What are the consequences? Miscarriages and premature births, diminished intellectual capacities in children, illnesses of the nervous system, illnesses of the digestive system, and a host of related problems. La causa fundamental es la contaminación de los relatos. Fundamental cause of all this is pollution. Runoff from the slag heaps, smoke from the smelter that comes back to earth as toxic rain, poisoning the grass and then the animals and the people. El azufre baja la tierra, contamina el pasto y contamina a los animales y al hombre. When the company was state-owned, there was a plan to build three oxygen plants to convert sulfur dioxide into sulfuric acid so it wouldn't get into the air. But these plants have never been built. One of the main reasons the company was privatized was it was said that foreign capital would improve the environmental conditions. Pero al contrario, no, the contrary, when the foreign company took over, the new construction was postponed until 2005. As a result, the pollution is worse and the solution is shelved. We know the company has troubles in the States. Our fear is they could just move on, sell the plant and leave the problem behind. Life expectancy here, 56, maybe 60, way below what it is elsewhere. There's no argument here. Contamination is a fact, not only in the human population, but as you can see, in animals as well. The contamination, it didn't used to be this way. This sheep has just died. Basta! Basta de abuso! It's enough, enough of this abuse. We've got to do something, young people especially. This is what I live off. It's how my parents provided for their kids, and it's my only chance of providing for mine. Let me be very clear, we are not against any business in this area. It's that we want some regulation with respect to the slag heaps, the pollution of the air, the poisoning of our rivers. That's what we're against, but not against business. We understand that business produces jobs, and jobs produce well-being for the society.